Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Jaime Valencia. I'm with the PDA Technical Advisors team in Cisco. And through this video, I'm going to show you how to regenerate the self-signed certificates on an IEM and present server. This is also applicable for CUCM and Cisco Unity Connection. I hope you enjoy it. In my last video, as I was changing the domain from just cisco.com to pdimx.cisco.com, that triggered a notification in my IEM and present server, which is this one. As you can see, I need to regenerate a couple of certificates, and I think that this is a good opportunity to show you how to regenerate certificates on your servers. In order to regenerate the certificates, we need to go to the OS administration page from our IEM present server. And then we go to Security, Certificate Management, and we are going to click on Find. I'm going to show you two ways in which you can do this. For the first one, we are going to change the COP-XMPP certificate. We click on the common name, and you will get this screen. As you can see, we have four options in the top, which are Regenerate, Generate CSR, download.pem file and download.der file. We are going to use the regenerate one. We click on it. And you will get the message that it was a success. And you will also need to restart the Cisco XCP router in order for changes to take effect. I will do that at a later time. Now we can close this and the page is going to refresh. The other way in which we can regenerate a self-signed certificate is to click on Generate Self-Signed. This will trigger this new window. And here we're going to choose the COP-XMPP-S2S. We're going to leave the default settings for the key length and also for the hash algorithm and we click on Generate. And we get the same success message and also a notice that we need to restart the Cisco XCP router. We click Close and it's going to refresh one more time. As you can see, the expiration date of these two certificates has changed. When would you need to do this? One scenario could be in which you have always used your self-signed certificates and they are about to expire, or that you are coming from a public CA certificate scenario and you want to go back to self-signed certificates. As you can see, the procedure is really simple, and depending on what certificates you need to change, you may need to restart services. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you.